another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be the end of the winner's match. Whoever wins this advances to the round of eight. Whoever loses is going to advance to the finals match of the same bracket. So still going to have a second chance. I really like game two. Felt like it was anyone's match here and there. It really highlighted both players' creativity and also their strengths. Uh, Dreamer sneaking one out. With honestly just some excellent reaver, it felt like every single reaver shot was hitting multiple dragoons. And if Dreamer can sneak something like that again, might end up advancing round of eight ahead of Master Ray. Honestly, I'm still expecting both of these players to advance. Although I think Crane is a skilled enough player that Crane might be able to slip in underneath one of these two. We'll see. And honestly, I think that's what makes this match so important right here is I don't think either of these players wants to go up against Crane. So important to win in the winner's match, get to the round of eight, secure that spot. Six o'clock location, we have Ash Dreamer. Twelve o'clock location, Master Ray. This is on blindside. And again, I don't know why this map reminds me somewhat of the old school map destination. Maybe because it's a two-player map. Maybe because of the lack of ramps or whatnot. We do see Dreamer plopping down that gateway, gateway opposite corner for Master Ray as well. So no proxy shenanigans right off the bat. I'm... I'm still wondering the strength of Zealots on this map. We saw the three gate opener earlier. I'm trying to remember who executed that. I think that was that Nilsi? But Zealots, I just feel like, are so strong because this isn't a true ramp. You don't get that high ground misfire chance. So the Dragoon versus Dragoon, I guess less so Zealots, more so just three gate openers. Like having a lot of ground units pour into this natural is strong on this map because it's not a true ramp. You don't have that misfire rate to work with as much. Like, a little bit, I think. I think if you're just standing right there, you get the misfire rate. But even then, you're kind of exposed, right? Master Ray sneaking in with his scout is going to see nothing too crazy. Cybernetics core, no zealot first. There is a zealot first here for Master Ray, making that cybernetics core slightly later. <clears throat> it might make that Dragoon a little bit later. I feel like this is a long, uh, kind of a wide enough map that as I'm talking about like, oh man, you know, Zealot's so strong early, still might end up being a an okay map for Dragoons. I just feel like there's so many corners that Dragoons can get kind of trapped in long, long here. Master Ray putting a pylon behind the lines. I actually heard an interesting comment from, I believe it was Shafir saying it's really important to put pylon... You have to be careful with pylons back here and their placement because sometimes you can end up having your opponent doing kind of cannon rush or proxying stuff in, more or less. They can seal themselves in with those with their own pylon and do all sorts of shenanigans from there. I, I, and it becomes very dangerous, putting pylons along the back line. I hadn't thought about that prior. The implications. The implications. First Dragoon out for Dreamer. Range is warping in. You have that probe is going to trail that initial zealot. First Dragoon wandering out as well. Wants to go ahead and take the fight to Dreamer. First Dragoon is going to move forward. This is exactly what Dreamer needs to do. Run out with this Dragoon. Engage forward against the zealot. Micro is way back. Lower those shields. Get into some of that base damage and then work from there. But needs to make sure he doesn't get caught. Master Ray backing off with that <clears throat> zealot. Does eat some base damage. Waiting with that initial Dragoon of his, but Dreamer not going to fall for that drop, back, backing off. So it's going to have a slight advantage of, I don't know, 100 resources. Every little bit counts. Second gateway now for Master Ray. On the front. Two additional gateways for Dreamer. I think Dreamer also, I don't know, perhaps feeling the same thing I'm feeling, where initial ground units are so strong. We do see a robotics facility for Master Ray, so I'm almost wondering if we're going to see a flip of builds this match. If we're going to see Dreamer opting for three gate pressure with Ob's Robo to follow, are we going to see a fourth gate? This probe is in position as though a fourth gateway is going to be placed, which is a very dangerous aggressive build and almost all in ish. Looks like it's just sitting there for the moment. I'll try to keep an eye there. Robotics facility warping in. The Dragoon's sneaking across the corner. And actually, <laughs> map living up to its name, Blindside. 
Dreamer needs to be a little bit careful because actually might get caught out of position and end up losing some Dragoons because this is a superior Dragoon count overall. But walking to the natural expansion, oh, I think Dreamer might have made a mistake. Okay, he's going to... And this is where that Dragoon has that, that positioning is where that firing misfire chance is active. But Dreamer positioning around, not realiz realizing that Master Ray had those units out of position, is going to end up losing three initial Dragoons for nothing. Only damages one Dragoon. Oof. And that is that gives a huge amount of map control to Master Ray, despite the three gateways. We are seeing three gate Robo now, but that is ooh, that is going to slow the pressure that Dreamer can apply down significantly. Master Ray in firm control of this match now has an observer being built, knows their safety against ETs, and I think is doing the wise thing and setting up to go ahead and take a Nexus behind all of this. Because, as you can see, kind of getting a rough count here, that's seven Dragoons, two Zealots. And it's going to be, just to equalize that count, seven Dragoons are being fielded. Actually, sorry, that's six, seven are just equalizing right now. So it's going to be another two rounds of Dragoons before there's a significant advantage. <clears throat> Dreamer plopping down a robotic support bay. And building a shuttle. Master Race plopping down a pylon, setting up to go ahead and grab a Nexus. Dreamer's going to have to use Micro, maybe get lucky. But here's the thing, Master Ray has this Observer to kind of scout out what his opponent's up to as far as engagements. I like that he's kind of being aggressive and moving forward in midfield because there are so many angles to attack. And again, getting an advantageous attack. Two Dragoons versus the entire army right there. Dreamer losing another Dragoon for free, re-engaging from the north. Zealots still on top. Doing a pretty good job microwing. Is under that brush. I do believe that brush provides a little bit of misfire. And trying to regroup. And unfortunately, Master Ray just having superior scouting information and Dreamer kind of fighting a little bit in the dark. Running it despite having the superior gateway count is losing these army engagements. Backed up into the natural expansion. Master Ray needs to be careful. Because he is, in fact, taking an Nexus behind this. He's not at three-gate play. Dreamer stepping up, re-engaging this. The Zealot is on top of those Dragoons. These Dragoons getting wiped out. And Master Ray may be over-committing a little bit here. Distance reinforcement points. He needs to keep units up. And right now, they're at the natural expansion. Keep in mind, with this Reaver, that Reaver might be opened up. With that gateway count to actually just move up and do some harassment at the main. It looks like Master Ray plopping down two additional gateways. And that Nexus feeling like, okay, I got enough to go ahead and defend against this. But this army, I think, is just most certainly going to get wiped out. Oh. Taking a big hit. And Master Ray now in retreat. Unfortunately, hmm, I think Dreamer might have missed an opportunity right there. To allow the reinforcements to hold the front. Pop out there anyway. And maybe try to sneak out with that Reaver. To get some sort of harassment done. But, Master Ray, natural expansion up, has a significant pro count lead has a sizable army, and now has the gateway count advantage. And plopping down a fifth as well. Plus, he's going to be able to sneak out more observers and push from there. Dreamer needs to get something done to win this match. Needs to press up. Does have two Reavers, five Dragoons, but this is up against eight Dragoons at the forward position. Plus, the one advantage here is the observer is not in position. It looks like it's scouting back here, perhaps for a potential shuttle drop. Maybe just scouting to make sure that Dreamer didn't take any sneaky expansions. But it is going to catch this Dragoon Force. Oh, nothing going right for Dreamer this match. That Observer going to see these Wayward Dragoons. And he's going to see that shuttle with those Reavers. So for a moment, Dreamer might have been able to elevator some troops in and get something accomplished. Instead, it looks like this troop grouping has been scouted. Luckily, catching a couple of these units... Packed in the corner. Master Ray does have those units packed up. And it looks like Dreamer making the same mistake that he did initially. Great shots from these Reavers, though. Shuttle is down. Two Reavers still on the ground. Reinf Keep in mind, this is five gateways versus reinforcements. Both Reavers down, though. And it's just... I don't know that it's going to be enough. More Reaver more Dragoons pushing up. This I think this is going to be the last draw for Dreamer. Master Ray backing up. All he has to do... He can take some shots on this Nexus. He's going to have enough Dragoons to back this up. Five Dragoons versus three. <laughs> nice map, Dreamer's calling it. GG, not used to the map. Uh, 
yeah, calling it just getting out of position and, and getting hit from both angles. So Master Ray advances. Dreamer will move on to the final match. That's unfortunate. And I got a feel for Dreamer on this one. Yeah, just getting caught a little bit out of position. I can see not knowing the map where that could be a huge factor. Anyway, congratulations to Master Ray advancing once again to the round of eight. And thus far, showing good defense of his title. Thanks for listening.